All right, so here we go. We have our normal maps generated from our skull. Just gonna save this as a different file name. And now what we do is I have to get them all out of here. So each one of these, I just touch it, go into edit mode, go image, save image as, and then we organize this. In this case, I need a new directory. And we'll call this directory maps. Okay, this is my jaw underscore nm. And then I'm going to name it Targa. There we go. That goes in the maps directory. Next, teeth. Same thing, image, save image as. Again with the skull, again with the maps. Now, notice something. When, since I named the mesh, all the maps came out correctly, all the everything, all, all I'm doing is putting an underscore nm after this. So that's the advantage, and it would have it would have regardless. So like, because I named the actual texture, but naming your meshes and naming your maps very important. It saves you a huge amount of time. Okay, image, save image as skull maps targa. Score and M. Last one. Image. Save image as. Skull maps. Targa. Underscore and M. Okay, so I have all four of those maps. Now, I want to use GIMP because it's free. So I guess I'm going to have to use GIMP because not many students have Photoshop. Again, I want to make this series so any student can use it regardless of money. So GIMP.org, you can download this. It's a, it's a Photoshop equivalent. And what I could do is just open my desktop, Blender Skull, Maps, and I can open these right up. Now, see how I don't have a button down here? I'm going to have to slide this over to my other desktop just so I have enough resolution. All right, notice something. Yes, that's right. They are transparent. Isn't that neat? Okay, so now some juggling. So I have this one. This is my base. This one, I need to slide that over to that one and close it out. This one, slide it over, close it out. This one, Slide it over, close it out. I have now a normal map that stretches across four different parts. Ooh, right? Very cool. All right, so save as. And I'll call this final. How about just We'll name him Scully. How's that? Scully normal map. Again, I have to slide this over just to hit the save button. I will flatten image.
and then go right back. And I'll start with the top. Uh, here's it. Hit A. I go image. Open image. Scully normal map. Okay. Same thing. A. In this case, I can just go Scully normal map. Scully normal map. So I'm highlighting all the faces here. Scully normal map. Okay, sweet. Now let's put them together. Zero. 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 Okay. Now let's uh, close this out. I'm going to say join area by right clicking here, join area, point the arrow this way and hit the left mouse button. Mm -hmm. Hit N on the keyboard and let's go into a shading mode. Okay, that's under display. We're going to go shading GLSL. And now we're going to have to build a material called Scully because the original normal map isn't going to show up. It'll show up as blue right now and we don't want that. We want it actually to be a bump map or a normal map. So here's material. I'm going to name this material Scully. There's a lot of assigning stuff here, so just bear with me. Okay, the Scully material, how you assign that is go again into faces and hit assign. Assign. Oops. Hmm. Scully, there we go. Assign. Scully, assign. And you know you got it because it's starting to turn white. Sign. Sweet. Okay, now Scully, the material that makes up the skull, get the texture. And that texture is going to be a new texture based upon image or movie. And down below, I'm just going to hit open. Scully normal app. There we go. Now that's a normal map. It's not a color map, so I uncheck that one. Image mapping, no, wait, mapping. Go to UV and choose UV text. On the material itself, if I preview that, it should look weird. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to the skull, click on the viewport, and hit Alt-Z and pray. Uh, Alt-Z. Okay, what am I missing? Got that, got that, got that. All those things. It's just not going into textured mode that's cool Hmm. I think it's a fluke, so what I'm going to do is save as, and I'm going to save the skull in maps. I'm going to put relative RM map, remap relative on, and that way it finds all the textures within that directory. And then I'm closing this out. I did stress blender out quite a bit there. Okay, so let's see what happens. If not, I'll have to continue this video in the next video and show you what I did. 
Open image. Here's Scully map. Oh, oh, it's doing something because I can't do anything. Okay, so let's look at the mesh and make sure it's untextured. Okay, so that's all taken care of. That's a good sign and a bad sign all at the same time. At least when I hit Alt C, something's happening. That's a good sign. Okay, now. Click it N, and then I'm going to go into the UV image editor and make sure this isn't assigned to anything. Uh, those are white, that's okay. Oh, the. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> it was missing a light. Now I feel stupid. And it went to wireframe. Must be a hotkey. There. Okay. Don't breathe. Skull with normal map. Very cool. So just to give you on a perspective on things, this mesh, even though it has detail in that area, you can see that it really is only that many polys. All right, this concludes, but we have a little bit of an issue right here. So in the next video, we will look at fixing seams. So here's a seam at the very, very top. How do we fix that up? And Blender is notorious for making seams, so this will help you.